Hello, Mr. Collier here. This is the third video in our Lab 6A series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the calculations for Lab 6A, Newton's first and second laws. In the first part of this lab, we were changing the force but keeping the mass constant, and that was this data table here where we changed the number of rubber bands. I'm going to use the data from the part two video, which showed that it took 0.017 six seconds to go through the photo gate. So you're going to do one centimeter, which is the width of the flag, divided by that time to get the speed. And that's going to give you a speed of 56.8, and that's three significant figures. And you're going to repeat the same process for two and three rubber bands. One centimeter divided by the time gives you the speed of the car. And you'll see how adding additional rubber bands affects the speed of the car. Next, you're going to make a graph showing the speed of the car on the y-axis and the number of rubber bands on the x-axis. I would set it up something like this, with rubber bands on the x but leaving some space in between. And on the y-axis, you've got the speed of the car, and we're counting by tens. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, so forth. In the second part of this lab, you were changing the mass of the car, but launching it with a constant force, one rubber band. Again, I'm going to show you one data point, show you how to do the calculations, and set up the graph. So the mass of the car with one, zero marbles in it was 57.31 grams. The time through the photo gate with zero marbles was 0.0144. And then again, you're going to do one centimeter divided by that time, which will give you 69.4, three significant figures. Then you're going to graph it with mass of the car on the x-axis and speed on the y. That's going to look like this, mass and speed. And we're going to set up our axes very similarly. Speed on the y is actually exactly the same, counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, so forth. And on the x-axis, we're counting by fives, but really only labeling every other one. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so forth. And that's it for the calculations and graphing for lab 6A. When you're done, you should have a good sense of how changing the force, like the number of rubber bands, affects the uh, speed of the car, and how changing the mass of the car also affects the speed of the car. Uh, just remember when you're answering your conclusion questions that you're actually changing the acceleration uh, off of the rubber band and then uh, we're measuring the resulting speed that comes from that acceleration. Good luck.